Yo guys, welcome back to another Double Marching Moro Freeze video. Okay, so live stream ended a while ago. I was waiting for the slides over on Facebook. Here they are. We're gonna go through it. We have a new event to go through. I do apologize if I get through this video real quick. I'm very limited on recording time, so uh my cringy jokes and shit may not make it in. Anyway, right, so new event info. What we got, what we got, what we got. The execution. Yo, I watch okay, so listen, if you haven't watched episode one of this, at least like no spoilers i'm not gonna spoil nothing i i don't know like it did not go the way i expected it to go i really enjoyed um i, I enjoyed the direction it, it went uh, i just did not see it coming anyway uh, so the executioner in the crossroads anime crossover celebration um <laughs> uh we're, we're not gonna go through all this this is all bullshit we don't need uh you can come over to facebook and read the slides yourself for all this um but what do we got? What's happening? Okay, so the crossover between two, oh, whatever. <laughs> Too much bullshit. Event period will be from the 15th to the 20th of next month. So the 15th, so in three days time from now, where I'm recording um, to the 20th of next month, a tall tale, so long tale, uh, will be available to play. Five stories in total. Uh, stories will be unlocked at the same time as the, okay, so they're doing, oh i got you they're doing story per episode every friday i like that uh not really actually i fucking hate having to wait weekly for new episodes of anime anyway right um missions where you can get crossover units weapons and material weapon materials and aurario souvenirs uh will be available okay okay <clears throat> that's to be expected though. okay so this is the banner i haven't even looked at the units yet wait no this is not the banner. free 11 draw the first eleven. Okay, so they're giving you one multi for free, which is I know I'm down for that. That's pretty cool. And then your guarantees are on the second, fourth, sixth, eighth, and tenth pulls. Um. Okay. Okay. Where we at? Uh, two banners. Obviously, two banners. And the first multi is free on both, by the looks of it. Okay. So the this is the timeline, the event period, so to speak. So. Part one starts on the 15th and will end on the 29th. Part two starts on the 22nd uh, and ends on the 6th. That is my phone. I do apologize. Uh, <laughs> and then the final part, part three, starts on the 6th and uh, ends on the 20th. Um, okay, so there is a little bit of overlap between part one and part two. I'm probably because they're trying to really fit this and smush this into the uh, global timeline to try and bring the timelines back together again the first 11 draws free a time limited four star unit is guaranteed on the second we've been over this already you can draw you can pull the 11 draw gacha for 200 iris on the so the okay so, so you're guaranteed on every even summon and every odd summon is half price yeah, okay we'll see what the units look like as to whether that's i mean it's worth i'm going wrong like it's it's still a cheaper overall complete banner but still um and they're two units per banner, right? I only saw two units per banner. So, okay. I mean, but then again, this is just part one, which means there's probably banners per part. So be reserved with your iris on this one. Four star units are this crossover's four star units only. You can pull the applicable units paid four star up to three times. An EX battle has been added with the gacha. Okay, then. All right, cool. Let's go through this. Uh, why have I for... I'm not in as usual guys in the comments how do i pronounce this name <laughs> oh you know what? i like the character model though i do like the character model i like the uh the appropriateness of the outfit there um just saying i lost one akari she cute she cute she definitely cute anyway right so momo i don't i did not like her from the episode i don't know why there was just something about her i did not enjoy uh lost i mean it's hestia of course they were gonna add hestia and that's it those are the first four units for this part oh that, those are the weapons sorry i skipped right past that those are the weapon materials or weapons faust scripture and chris crest weapon jigsaw my bad mm, quest periods okay so what are the rewards for these quests up to 440 iris clear each quest for the first time five hero lights s for s clearing all of them and then event unit weapon materials 10 each clear oh okay these are pretty standard shit so you should be okay with this uh heroic trials don't forget that while you're doing your summons you do get at least one uh oh i like this there's a nice long login bonus <laughs> 
Uh, okay. There are some more slides to go through. What do we have? A new new event info. I know this is a lot, mainly because um, um uh, <laughs> they're trying to cram everything back in so we can get the timelines back together between the global servers and the JP servers. Anyway, right. So what do we have? Requiem of Death and the Maze. Clear all quests to get Death and Maze 4 star guaranteed. Eleven draw tickets. Uh, event period will be the 14th. So this coming Thursday of the 4th at 6 p.m. I mean, that's JST, right? And it will last until the 11th of next month. By clearing the last quest very hard, you'll get yourself an 11 draw four star ticket. The whole volume of the sword. Okay, we, we don't care about that. We're trying to get through it real quick. So we have eyes. We were I'm pretty sure we went over these already. Uh, Amazon sisters. You gotta love some Amazons. <laughs> uh, and then Anarchy. And then who can forget Gareth? <laughs> uh, and then Rule. Oh my god, what happened to Finn? Uh, it's two more banners. Honestly, I don't really feel that pumped for this. I'm pretty sure I went over all of this info. Ongoing campaign information. So the fourth anniversary exchange for the US anniversary is still available. Pause to see what's missing. Hold on, let me just fix this for you guys because I'm pretty sure it's like partially off the fucking screen which we don't appreciate we don't want that do we 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 definitely don't want that no we don't here we go sorry about that guys <laughs> fucking an idiot all right so schedule again we're gonna go through we went through all of this i hate having to repeat slides oh gareth record buster what yeah gareth record buster <laughs> uh and then the 15th the collab event period will start as well you've got a lot of stuff to deal with and then on the 21st you have war game seventh zone 22nd you'll have more shit more shit and even more shit to deal with familiar rush is coming back you knew it was going to be a plant one because the uh the uh, um uh, actually well yeah i mean depending on how i edit this video you probably won't know yet but the new collab units will have plant killer as a passive so there we go um pause just to read all of this because i am not going through all this again <laughs> um and what i'm gonna do now is i'm literally gonna head over to discord and read out the uh collab unit skills while i do it yeah we're gonna just bring it up because that's fuck editing am i right <laughs> okay so we're looking at the hestia first she is an assist as you expect her to be uh, allies shortens physical resist magic resist and all elemental resistance debuffs by four turns and adds three instant effects of 50 percent hp heal once per turn when attacked gotcha okay uh not bad i'm going to momo now the older uh, <coughs> flat flat no i'm joking i'm joking some people like flat i'm just not mocking your preferences. <laughs> um, her SA is an AoE Ultra Earth Physical Attack, Ultra Unguard Rate, Temporary Great Strength Boost, and Earth Resist minus 60%. Uh, skill 1 is an Allies Strength and Agility plus 35% for 4 turns. Uh, self Strength and Agility plus 75% for 4 turns, and adds 3 additional actions of a low uh, Physical Attack with Ultra Unguard Rate. Skill 2, AoE Fast High Earth Physical Attack, High Penetration Rate, uh, skill damage plus 30 percent for every strength agility physical resist and sorry buff <laughs> for every for every strength agility and physical resist buff and removes strength agility and physical resist buffs from the enemy okay i like that and it's a fast modifier so ah oh, skill three a super single attack uh super single target attack a physical ultra on guard rate skill damage plus 70 percent for every self strength buff me likey you anything special no nothing special okay we're gonna move on to the next unit because i'm trying to get through this before my time runs out as you can tell uh okay let's look i, I think akari is the best looking unit i'm sorry i know she looks like very plain very homely but i i like i don't know i'm sorry it, she just best looking uh allies wind attack damage and magical resistance plus 20 percent and 30 percent hp regen 20 percent mp regen per turn okay i always say this if you do not have an element based assist they are always worth considering picking up moving on i uh, yeah we got one more unit and this will be the last of it and i'm gonna get through this in record time uh let's look at the artwork yeah flat no, i mean not as flat but still. <laughs> um it's menu right it's it's gotta be menu i'm sorry or menau men so Minnow, uh, uh, someone help me. Uh, SA is an AOE Ultra Wind Physical Attack, Ultra Crit Rate, and Temporary Great Strength Boost, and removes status buffs. 
uh, skill one is a very costly M149 MP. Allies adds one magic nullification, self strength, agility, and wind attack damage plus 65% for five fucking turns. And adds three additional actions of remove strength debuffs and extend status buffs by two turns. Jeez, she's out here putting in work. Uh, skill two is a 49 MP cost AoE fast high wind physical attack ultra unguard rate temporary strength boost and removes aoe resist buffs extends status debuffs by three turns okay so the debuff and the buff extension on separate skills there but she still has them both we're all good skill three is a single target super wind physical attack high penetration rate and great strength boost anything special in the passives damage reduction on guard earth resist and counter earth resist for plus 55 percent earth resist and counters and regular attacks are wind physical okay that's, that's pretty standard no nothing nothing right guys i hope you were excited for the collab i did not um i enjoyed the anime I'm not sure how exciting the collab event actually will be how are you how do you feel about it um have you seen the anime have you not seen the first episode uh i don't know is episode two out yeah i'm not sure either way how do you feel about this guys i you know i don't play so my excitement really doesn't matter either way guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed please make sure to drop a like if you did subscribe if you're not social media links will be in the description and as always i love you and i'll catch you in the next one